Welcome to Nifty 50 Photographers and in today's video we're going to give you a very basic introduction to macro photography. So this is for beginners who want to get started. We're not going to use any special equipment, we're just going to use our camera and we're just going to hand hold it. I'm fortunate enough to own a macro lens, this is 90 millimeters, and most of the time most macro lenses or the ones you want to start with should be around this focal length, maybe 100 millimeters. 105, any of those is a common um, size and you'll have some great results with those. If you uh, can't afford a macro lens, the other thing you could use is an extension tube. Uh, these are much cheaper to pick up and then you couple them up with one of your existing lenses so that you can get this very close focus distance you're looking for in macro photography. I've come along to some local woodlands and the reason I've chosen that is for a couple of reasons. One is you always get nice soft light in a woodland and that's important for macro photography. It'll help uh, with the exposure of your photos. The other thing is there's lots of subjects here. There's leaves uh, of all different shapes and sizes. There's moss and lichens. There's fungi growing on some of the fallen trees. So I've got a whole plethora of things I can photograph. I'm going to have a wander around and take a few of those and show you how I do it. Let's talk about our camera settings. One of the things you want is a very wide depth of field when you're doing macro photography. So that means a very narrow aperture. If you've got a camera with a crop sensor, then choose something like F10 as a minimum. F10 to F14 is a good range. If you've got a full frame like me, then I would start about f16 to f22. Other things I would think about is what kind of subjects you're going to do. Start with something that doesn't move. Start with a static subject. It'll just make your life a lot easier. One of the things you might struggle with is getting enough light. I'm here on quite a dull day and uh, when, when I uh, set my aperture to f16, I know I want a shutter speed that's going to be at least the 60th, maybe more, to avoid getting any shake in the image. And on a dull day like this, that's going to mean setting a fast ISO. If you don't understand that relationship between ISO, shutter and aperture, I've got a series of videos that uh, you might want to watch just to get yourself up to speed before you try this technique. The kind of things you need to look for in macro photography are things that have lots of different textures and small details that you can bring out. Things like moss and lichens, bark, stuff like that are great. Um, but you can also do it for things like flowers. With a bit of luck I might find a, a snowdrop just popping up here as well. And that's another great subject. But the more you do it, the more you'll be able to see these little tiny things that make for interesting shots. Really concentrate on your composition. Remember all those other composition rules like leading lines, rule of thirds, uh, and those kind of things, the golden spiral, because they'll really help your macro photos look more interesting. The next tip I would say is use back button focus. If you don't know how to do that, there's a link uh, to a video I've made about that here. What you want to avoid is your camera refocusing as you press the shutter and switch to manual focus. And it's probably easier with your live view screen so you can magnify up the image, really focus in on those minute details and get the image perfectly in focus. So I'm gonna try that now with this little bit of fungus down here and uh, see what I get. So uh, I'm gonna get down here, I'm gonna use my live view uh, to focus on my subject. And uh, I'm thinking about my framing really. I want the fungus in the bottom corner. And once I've got it in focus, I'm gonna support everything. Get the focus right. Now I'm ready to take my shot. And there you go. I'm gonna have a wander around now, capture some other images of other things I've seen, and uh, I'll show you those in, in just a second. Hope you've enjoyed that video and it gets you out and gets started with macro photography. It's a lot of fun and you'd be surprised at all the different subjects you can find when you start looking at those tiny little details. If you are enjoying these videos, do uh, give it a like 
and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Go and have some fun with your camera and I look forward to seeing you next time.